Thank you. Nearly half a dozen churches in the upstate are repairing damage done by vandals. It starts with a string of offensive satanic graffiti in January, and it's appeared on upstate churches nearly every weekend since. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown joins us live. Kim, uh, what is the very latest? Well, at this point, churches are the only target, target according to law enforcement. They don't know who's doing it because a lot of churches like this one, they don't have security cameras on the outside. So solving this crime or these crimes will come down to good old detective work and help from the public. It's supposed to be a place where people focus on God's written word, but now the focus is on what's written on the outside of the buildings. So since January the 27th through this weekend, we've had five documented incidents in which vandals have gone to various churches on the south end and east, east side of Greenville, Simpsonville, Piedmont area. Those vandals spray painted derogatory comments in Spanish on four houses of worship, all different denominations. The most recent ones focused not only on satanic messages, but hurled insults at the late Reverend Billy Graham. Security cameras at one church did capture someone walking on the property. The next day, they found their three crosses cut in half, leaving investigators with little more than the handwriting on the wall to go by. It's just very, very disturbing, uh, the messages that, that have been written. And so we're just looking for whatever tips and information we can possibly get to try to tie these together. Vandalism is a misdemeanor in Greenville County. However, if damages surpass $2,000, that same infraction is seen as a felony. State lawmakers are working to strengthen that law. Senator William Timmons is on the subcommittee discussing it. It will allow magistrates to more effectively punish the individuals that are committing these crimes, and that punishment could be a fine. It could be uh, repainting uh, whatever they defaced. While strengthening laws are important, the vandals still have to be caught. We are upping our patrols, uh, specifically at the churches at nighttime hours. But again, we need, the, we need the assistance from the community, too, if they have any information as well. And here at this church, Life Spring Community Church, they're still writing on the wall. A lot of the community coming together, volunteering to help this church scrub the writing off the wall. Of course, they have to have the insurance come out and check it out. We saw law enforcement out here earlier taking pictures and just trying to figure out exactly what happened. Secondly, other people in the community are simply donating money to help the church by security cameras. Reporting live in Simpsonville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Yeah, the thing about this, Kim, you mentioned it's just targeting churches and with messages that are are almost deliberately designed to be the most offensive thing you could say to people in a church whether it's insulting Billy Graham or talking about the devil what do people in these churches think well, we did actually run into an individual here at the church when we left. They just say that it's disheartening and they're sad that it's happening. Investigators, on the other hand, they don't have a motive either. So that's why they need the public to speak up with anything that they know, no matter how minute they think that information might be. Gordon. All right, Kimberly Brown, thank you.